Hey family, it's your sis Lisa. I hope you're doing well. Guys, today I just wanted to be transparent because it's Christmas Eve. I'm packing up gifts for my family that I made. And I'm so excited for them to see them and open them. And one thing I realized as I was putting these gifts together, in my heart I was like, oh, this isn't enough stuff. Like, your bank account wasn't long. It never has been. And this isn't enough. You didn't get enough for your family. You say you love these people, but you ain't even got the money to provide for them. And while sometimes it is kind of a motivator for me to like, I want to be more financially stable. I want to be more financially secure so that I can get gifts for my family. I know that whatever I get for them, as long as I put thought behind it, and as long as I'm like really trying, that they are going to love it. So one thing I did this year was I made sure everything was like centered around self-care. So if I know you really like skincare, here are a few face masks. If I know, you know, I think you should get into more skincare, here's just a face wash. You know what I mean? Things like that that I think will help people improve their lives and stuff. And I don't want to say everything because obviously what if they watch this and then Christmas is tomorrow, the whole thing, right? But I did just want to share that because... It really is the thought that counts. And I know we all say that and like, but I think when you really love people and you really put thought and effort into something, they honor it and they love it. Um, one thing I always do is write a handwritten note to everyone and I put it in their stocking. And that really is something that I think people look forward to. Every year when they read them, they're like, oh, Lisa writes the best handwritten notes. And that makes my heart smile. Because really the thing is, I just want people to know I care about you. It's not even about like, I want to get everybody an Apple Watch. That would be great. You know, if I could afford that and that was something that the person needed. But I realized it's kind of shaped my gift giving. Because even when I do have a lot of money to spend on gifts one day soon in the name of Jesus. So when my bank account is a little longer and I can spend more money, I know that no matter what I get, I'm always going to keep it thoughtful. No matter what. Because I've had this time of, okay, homemade and thoughtful is all I got. That's where we're coming from. Like... But when that is now going to be a norm for me, I'm going to be so excited to be able to give gifts that people really feel like, wow, she really thought about me and wow, she really cares about me. So I'm just excited for this Christmas and excited to share my heart with my family. I did this thing where I also, this is again, another surprise. I hope they don't watch this video, but I made this little coupon book. Real quick, I watched a YouTube video to show me how to do it. So I wanted to make one that like you could flip through and all that. And honestly, I'm pretty sure the YouTube channel, I'll put the video below, but I'm pretty sure it's a YouTube channel for children. Um, but what can you do? That she, the lady helped me make a book. It's called Arts with Mrs. F, I believe, which because she put Mrs., I'm like, she's an arts teacher, probably for children. But helped your girl out, you know? So I made a little coupon book, and I put coupons specific to every person rather than just, like, coupons in general. So it's really just I had to get stuff for my mom, my sister, and my dad because the rest of my family's out of town. I sent them stuff from Amazon, what 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 have you. It's hard to do homemade when people are like elsewhere, like in a different state or in a different country. So stuff like that. I don't get a chance to be as thoughtful, but I try to make sure the gifts I get still come from a place of thoughtfulness and like a place of being helpful. So that was just something I wanted to share for all of us who... The money's not long yet. We're working on it, you know? Our bank accounts aren't in agreement with, oh, aren't always in agreement with our giving spirit. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. Because it just matters that it comes from a heart. It just matters that, you know, you're really putting care and time into it. Because I was really like for a second down on myself, like, yo, this ain't a lot. You didn't, you did what you could, but could better have been done? And honestly, the answer is one day probably. But right now I am where I am, and I'm so thankful that I get a chance to give anything to my family. There's this line Drake has. I will edit it. It's called. He goes, I'm more concerned about people thinking about Christmas in August, do anything to buy gifts for their daughters. And I was like, yo, can you imagine? Like, And I'm sure that's some people's story, obviously, because, I mean, it's, it's a lot of people's story. We're like, it is August, and I'm thinking about December because I don't have the money. Like, I need to put something on layaway. I need to figure something out for my kids. I need to make sure they have a Christmas. So I'm blessed that I even have a chance to pull some coins together to do anything. So if that's your story and you're like me, you're like, yo, the same much. But I did it from the heart, though. That's all that matters, you know? And, yeah, just establishing that for even when I do have money, I'm excited that I'll be able to be like, okay, thoughtful. That's already the mindset I'm in. I'm not just going to, like get somebody something because they say they want it 
it would be nice to give people things that they say they want but also additional thoughtful gifts so that's just food for thought something i wanted to share i'm so excited for christmas i went with gift bags this year guys because let me tell you something about wrapping gifts she's not gifted it's not what i do best look at this Look how simple it's going to be like, Merry Christmas. You know, I got these bags from the dollar store. I got the tissue paper from the dollar store. Speaking of balling on a budget, let me tell you. You know, the dollar store came in clutch. And then I have, like, handwritten notes I'm going to do. I also put stuff in people's stockings because I wanted to relieve my mom of that stress and pressure. So I got some candy. I'm going to do handwritten notes. I got some gift cards. I'm super excited. And even as I list everything, I'm like, Lisa, you you did just fine. <laughs> like, you thought about people and you got them stuff and from the heart so again i think this was a video just to like anybody on the ledge of like i didn't do enough like we're okay we did our best and people are gonna love it because it came from you and it came from your heart so again i love you guys hope you have a very merry christmas tomorrow is the last day of vlogmas i cannot wait oh snap you can't see it it says oh snap on it my leggings also say oh snap and have gingerbread men with the little legs broken off um so that's another thing we just got into the outfit again you know i sometimes get a little sidetracked um but i love you guys i hope that you have a very merry christmas if you see this on christmas merry christmas if not merry christmas eve and we'll be back at it tomorrow you know tomorrow's the last day of vlogmas i don't i think i'm just gonna reflect on vlog we'll see every time i make a video plan recently it's been like but god is like hey you should talk about this and i'm like i bet and that's what i do so we'll see what God wants me to talk about tomorrow. Cannot wait. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.